Pompey gaffer Paul Cook, he has let football management's newest star, Patrick Scarborough, have a crack at the big time. And he's already appointed him as his co-manager. And well, this young fella, he's already made one pretty clever decision. Yes, that's right, because he has, in fact, already appointed me as his assistant. How are you doing, Patrick? Good. Are you ready for this, Gaffer? Yes. Shall we do this? Yeah. Let's do it! Paul, thanks so much for letting Patrick and me have the run of the place today. Well, thank you for letting me have the day off. Right, Patrick, I think I'm going to leave you now to pick Paul's brains for a heads off, all right? Good luck, mate. You like that? What do I need to know about managing Portsmouth Football Club? Well, first, what you must know is what a good job it is. You know, what a fantastic club Portsmouth is with great history and tradition. And also that there's a massive expectancy for a very large support base. Come on! Go green! Go! Tap! The box box Ben Tollard! Go inside him, he's coming outside yet. Yeah. What's the best thing about being manager? Is when you win. And you hear the flat men singing everybody's names and the people going home so happy that, you know, we feel like we're in a good place and you know the effect it has on Portsmouth as a city for till the next game. I've heard about something called the hairdryer treatment. What is it? The best way to describe it is you shout and scream at the players to let them know that you are not happy with them at all. Come in. Oh, excuse me. Just letting you know that the press are ready for you, OK, boss? Give her the hairdryer treatment. In a minute! Angles, Cal, he can't see you, Cal. He's got so much quality, Cal, this bit, hasn't he? Oh, mate, last bit, finish it! Ah, oh, great goal. finish. Good finish, wasn't it? So I want to know, has Patrick got any unusual training methods? <sighs> to be honest, he does He does have us down the beach, getting in the sea every morning, which in weather like this is just, <laughs> just a bit nippy. <laughs> Absolutely, but do you think he's going to take to get you to the Now, what's this? Get back to training! Sorry, Gaffer. Patrick, it's your last chance to inspire the team to victory for match day. They are all yours. That was good, lads. Good training, but I need to see more. Is it our finishing, boss? No. Is it our set pieces? No. What is it? It's your celebrations. It's your celebrations, guys! Rachel, I'll show you one. Go on, so I need three of you. This is uh, three men in the boat, yeah? Kneel down, one, two, three. And yeah, you need right to start paddling. Go. Come on, guys, Hold what it. is it? Yes. Is that good? <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? Should we get a round of applause? Yeah. Well done, come on, let's hear it. That's it, the celebrations. Well done, boys. This is it. Let's go, finish the training. So we're here in the Chief Exec's office with Mark Catlin. So how's Patrick been getting on? He, he did well, watch him taking training this morning. It seemed like he had a reaction from the lads. Everyone was enjoying themselves and, uh, you know, Paul, Paul's got to be on his guard, really, now. Now I've seen that this morning. Well, Patrick, what a day. You met the CEO, you put the players through their paces at training and you also gave a pretty inspiring team talk. I don't think you could have really done much more, but I want to know, how do you think you got on? Uh, well, I was really amazing and, like, it was the, like, funnest day of my life. Oh, brilliant. I love that confidence. I think you were absolutely great, Patrick. I mean, Patrick, though, has set the standard here at Pompey, but who knows, next time it could be you being manager for the day at your local club. 